Yeah, man. It's your boy Freak, man, man. And right now, we're going to talk about losing relationships and how to cope with the loss of relationships. You feel me? Somebody like me, I done probably lost more relationships from in the cell than y'all ever even had in your life. But um, one thing I can say is, you know, different types of losses lead to different type of emotional reactions. So you might lose a relationship by somebody that you really love dying. Why are you in a cell? You know what I'm saying? And you might lose a relationship by someone that you really love just separating themselves from you because your situation is too hard for them to cope with personally. And that happens, that happens honestly quite a bit. Because people will tell you things because they believe that they can do certain things. But once they realize the real ramifications of the situation and the things that come with doing those things that they say they're willing to do are a little bit too much for them to actually fulfill... And then, you know, that separation hurts almost as bad as if somebody dies because at that point, you feel like you're being treated as if you died. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and I've had both. And I wanted to work for me. You know, what, what doesn't work and what didn't work for me, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, and I'll start off with what didn't work for me. But I remember when I first lost... Um, I first lost my first my first real like serious relationship when I was still in the county jail fighting my case before I came to prison. And uh, at that point, I was I was ready to take the case to trial. I was like, I don't care what happened. I'm ready to go all the way to trial because you know I had this this rock, this person that I depended on, and we were talking about marriage and and all sorts of things. And when she left. You know, it just made it to where it's like, man, whatever deal they offer, and I'm going to take it. I got to get out of this county jail. And so I took whatever deal they had for me. I ended up going to prison. And as soon as I got to prison, the environment was different. You know, people were using a lot of drugs in prison. Uh, they were having phones. It was all things that you couldn't have did from in the county. And I'm still in pain. I'm in a whole lot of pain. But no longer am I looking for a serious relationship with a woman. I'm looking for just a jump off somebody because I don't trust no woman, so I'm not trying to open up to them. So I'm just looking for a jump off somebody that's going to give me some money, make sure I go to the store. And that was really it at the time. And um, that didn't work. That didn't work. Just looking for something fake didn't work. And so as I'm doing that, because, you know, at that point, I'm being fake. So when you being fake, you attract fake. It. Fake doesn't last. You know what I'm saying? And so trying to cope with that. I turned into drugs, I turned into drugs, and using drugs didn't really help. It numbed me, I did years of being high. It numbed me, it made it to where I was able to get through the time chasing the high, but at that point I'm begging. You know, my friends, family, they getting tired of me calling to ask for 25, 50, asking for a little chump change just to get high, and they know what I'm doing, like I mean, you know, you, you hear things, people make rumors, you might tell one person because you trust them, they don't really, you know, not a whole day water, and now everybody knows what you're doing. Uh, you break down, have a weak moment, express yourself to somebody who talks too much, and then, bam, your family know what you're doing. They disappointed in you, they separate themselves, so now I'm taking more losses, more relationships, and uh, it just led to me being all alone. And I'm, I'm, I'm a strong believer that when you're truly alone is where you do the most growing. Because now you have yourself to blame and you do the most personal reflection when you're truly alone. And, you know, I ended up going to the shoe a couple times to the hall and dealing with, you know, those type of things. And I don't even think they call it the shoe, but yeah, just to the hall, to, to, to the asset, you know. And, and I, I'm, I'm doing a time in there and that's where, you know, you can't get to no drugs. Or you can't get to anything really. But I could get to books. I could get to books. And when I read read a few books, I felt like the books were what really changed my life. Even coping with the losses like the death of my grandfather, the death of one of my best friends, and always drugs just to cope with these things. But when I finally started to face my demons and, and, and you know, talk out my problems with myself and have accountability for the things that I caused and have accountability for, you know, what, what I what I made happen in my life that was hurting me, then I was able to really be, 
I guess I was able to really be okay. You know, I was able to be okay knowing that it's not nobody else's fault, knowing that I'm not I'm not blaming anybody for the losses. I'm not blaming anybody for leaving me. I'm not blaming anybody for dying because I needed it and they died. I'm not blaming anybody for anything. And that's what led to me being able to cope with the loss of relationships was just having the accountability as a man to know that most of the things that are going on are my fault. And even the things that aren't my fault are my fault because it's my fault that I'm in this position. And so it just, it, it built a of peace that I gained. So now as a man, I don't need any person to stay here for me. And so I just, I, it all goes back to accountability. When you, when you find out that you can have accountability and that, <laughs> that you could be the one to blame every time that's when you find out that you can win because it, cause all them losses when you blame other people on your losses it's always something that's going to make you lose but when you the reason that you've been losing you can turn into the reason that you're going to win and me me finally realizing that has really it's really it's really giving me such a light and, and you know a, a lot of people choose entertainment over enlightenment and they choose comfortability over progress. And they choose to do things that they want to do rather than things that they got to do. And if your priorities are not in alignment with your aspirations, you'll never end up being the person that you see yourself as. And if you never end up being the person that you see yourself as, you'll never be able to have the relationship that you feel like you deserve because you don't deserve it because you haven't became the person that you see yourself as yet you know so at this point in my life I'm on a journey of building me to be prepared for my future relationships and the future seats I'm going to be sitting in at certain tables that I'm going to be sitting at and I recommend you guys all do the same thing but yeah I, I don't know if I really explained too much anything but I think coping with relationship loss the only coping method that really will work is accountability and, and, and action. Accountability and action. Progressive action and accountability. Because I guarantee you, once you build yourself up and you love yourself to that certain extent that you need to, other people will see that and they will start to love you for that. Yeah. It's been a long journey. A long journey and it's almost over for me. And I just want to tell you guys, a lot of the things that happen to me because of my negative choices, they don't got to happen to you. No matter what you're going through, understand that things do get better. Make sure you make smart decisions. Make sure you calculate the risk before you move. And understand that being smart doesn't mean you're soft. Being smart doesn't mean you're a square or a nerd. And if it do... I guarantee you being a square or a nerd is way more fruitful than being a gangster or a thug or anything of the sort. So, yeah, it's free, Ben. Both of been signed out live for the federal I just wanted to come through and tell y'all kind of how I cope with the loss of relationships and how I tried to over the years and what worked and what didn't work. But, you know, I love y'all to death, man. Keep tuning in.